ladies and welcome to another video that's my singing anyways yeah welcome to another video today I have for you guys the MTAR X from Call of Duty Ghosts so without further ado let's check out this awesome creation now this thing is one of the best guns I've ever made and here's the reason why as you can see it's got a crap ton of details a lot of base plates on the side um, a lot of trigger detail too, you know, you got the fire selector switch for semi-auto, and burst, I mean, no, not burst, uh, full auto, and then the safety, which obviously doesn't work, um, the grip, pretty cool, you know, got some smooth, uh, like, some smooth pieces down the middle, little stripe, the barrel, and the top little thing, it's one of these, all pieces. Removable magazine, which holds 20 rounds, I believe. I don't use this gun much. And the giant trigger guard. And it is pretty awesome. And here's a look down the iron sights. They are pretty game accurate. So I would I could aim for that switch. Or that power outlet. Or yeah, just run around shooting stuff. I also have a plus to this weapon, which is the working holographic sight that I made. Uh, you may have seen it in my Hell's Retriever video at the very end, if you guys actually watch to the very end. And as you can see, it's working. I did not use any instructions because I did not have a Lego light up brick. So, um, here is the actual design of this. I actually have an electrical circuit in there. So I guess it's not a hundred percent Lego, but whatever. When I pr uh, the light batteries and stuff, and when I push on this, it basically triggers some sort of fancy mechanism and the light turns on and it becomes a holographic. So here's how it looks in on the actual gun itself. It's pretty cool. I had to turn out turn off some of the lights so you can see it more properly but yeah really really cool and when you hold it in first person you can't really see it just like the in game and well when you zoom in it's pretty cool and this sight is actually pretty good on the gun because it's not the most accurate weapon so when you have this on it's definitely worth it but that's basically it so I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.